Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Baron Johnston. Um, the problem says that the triangular plate ABC is supported by a ball and socket joint at B and D and is held in the position shown by cable AE and CF. If the force exerted by the cable AE at A is 55 Newton, determine the moment of that force about the line joining points D and B. So we are given this uh, triangular plate in the given position and the tension in this wire AE has a magnitude of 55 Newton. And we are required to find the moment of this tension about this line which joins this point D and B. So we need to find the moment about uh, D and B. So we can say that MDB is required. So we are required to find, uh, determine the magnitude of the moment of this force which is acting from A to E, which is the tension in wire AE. So in we, we can use um, different approaches to solve this problem, but we are going to use the scalar triple product. And we can do this problem in uh, one step as well, and we can do it in two steps as well. So, first of all, we can use this formula, which is uh, first finding the moment of this tension in wire AE about that point D. Which, which we can find by this formula. We can say that if we want, if we write the moment about point D, the moment about point D will be equal to the cross product of vector of A relative to D with the tension in wire AE. So this will give us the moment about that point D. So once we find the moment about point D, then we will take the, the dot product of the unit vector which will be acting from D to B. So that will give us the the magnitude of the moment about that uh, that line which joins uh, point D and B. So we can split up this equation and we can say that this corresponds to the moment about point D. We can say that this is moment about point D and moment about point D we can we can find the moment about point D by taking the cross product of this position vector uh, with the tension from A to E and then taking the dot product with the position vector from D to B. Or we can use this formula directly and we can put these three uh, in, in a determinant and then this that determinant is known as the scalar triple product and that scalar triple product always gives us the uh, magnitude of that moment uh, acting about that particular position vector. So, we, will, we are going to use this particular formula and we, we are going to find these three. Um, this is the tension from A to E. This is the position vector of A relative to D and this is the unit vector which is acting along D to B. And remember that the sequence must, must, must remain the same. This, this should be written while finding the triple product. The, the position vector about which we want to find the moment must must come in the first position and then the the position uh, the moment arm or we can say that the position vector uh, which which will start from any point on that line to any point on the on the line affection of that force so we can we can choose any vector we can say from D to A, we can we can choose this as R of A relative to D, or we can say R of A relative to B as well. We can select this as well, and similarly, we can say R of E relative to B as well. Th th that depends on you guys, but the starting point should be on this line, and the ending point should be on the line affection of the given force. So in this particular case for us, um, most of the time we will be using the endpoints, which will make us, uh, which, which will make our life easier. So in this particular case, we are going to select this as the position vector of A relative to D, and that will give us the same answer. So we can say we can write this equation as the unit vector from D to B. We can write this as any vector which will start from from the from this line 
and which will end on this line and then this is the the force or the tension in that AE wire. So now we are going to find these one by one and then uh, putting them in a determinant will give us the solution. So first of all we are going to find uh, the, the vector uh, of that tension which is acting from A to E. So now we can say that the tension from A to E is the magnitude times the unit vector along AE and the unit vector along AE is the position vector from A to E divided by its magnitude. So this will give us the unit vector from A to E. So we will find the position vector from A to E and then we will find its magnitude. So in order to find the position vector from A to E, we will start from A and will try to reach that point E while traveling along the x, y and z axis. So from A we need to travel uh, 0 0.2 meters in the negative z. This is the positive z. So in the negative z, in the negative k we need to travel 0 0.2. So this is minus 0 0.2 k and then we will reach the x-axis and then from uh, we will reach the y-axis and from that point we need to travel uh, 0 0.6 meters in the negative y. This is the positive y. So in the negative j we need to travel uh, 0 0.6 meters. So minus 0 0.6 j we will reach the origin and from the origin we need to travel 0 0.9 meters 0 0.9 meters in the positive x so plus 0 0.9 i and then from there we need to travel uh, 0 0.4 meters in the positive z so in the positive z 0 0.4 k so initially we traveled minus 0 0.2 in the uh, 0 0.2 in the negative k and then 0 0.4 in the positive k we can add k terms so we will have uh, 0.9i minus 0.6j plus 0.2k. So this is the position vector from A to E. And similarly, we can find its magnitude by taking the squares. So we can say that the magnitude of the position vector from A to E will be 0.9 square plus 0.6 square plus 0.2 square under the square root. So that will give us 1.1 meters. So the tension of acting from A to E will be 55 into this. This is the position vector from A to E divided by its magnitude. Now multiplying 55 with 0 0.9 divided by 1.1 like we can say dividing uh, each of these components by 1.1 and multiplying with 55 gives us this. So 45i minus 30j plus 10k newton. This is the tension which is acting from A to E. Then in this particular formula, we have defined um, this moment arm or we can say the position vector of A relative to D. So the position vector of A relative to D, let me show that in this diagram. So this is, this is the position vector of A relative to D. So we need to find this as well. Now the position vector of A relative to D, again we will start from uh, point D and we'll try to reach that point A. From D again we need to travel how much distance? Um, 0 0.7 meters in the negative y. So we can write that. So we can say that the position vector of A relative to D is minus 0 0.7 j. So we will travel uh, 0 0.7 meters in the negative j. And then we will travel 0 0.2 meters in the positive k direction. So 0 0.2 meters in the positive k. So we will write plus 0 0.2 in the positive. And once we will reach here, then we will 0 0.2 positive j direction. So plus, plus 0 0.6 j. So if we add both of them, if we add both of these, so this is minus 0 0.1 j. And there is no need to travel in the x direction because this point D and A they are in the x y plane. So we can say that this is 0 i uh, minus 0 0.1 j plus 0 0.2 k. So this is 0 i minus 0 0.1 j plus 0 0.2 k. So we can say 0 i. So this is the position vector of A relative to D and then here we need to find the position vector of and the position vector uh, from D to B. So the position vector from D to B. So the position vector from D to B will be the unit, uh, the, the, the unit vector from D to B will be the position vector from D to B divided by its magnitude. So now we have to find the position vector from D to B. So from D, we need to travel along the X, Y, and Z and we'll try to reach that point B. So from D, we will travel uh, 
0 0.7 meters in the negative y so here you guys can see minus 0 0.7 j so we will reach this origin and then from origin we need to travel 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 meters in the positive x so this is 1.2 in the positive i direction so 1.2 in the positive i and once we reach here then we will travel 0 0.35 meters in the positive y direction so this is in the positive y so that is in the positive j so plus 0 0.35 in the positive j so adding both of these will give us minus 0 0.35 j so 1.2 i minus 0 0.35 j plus 0 k so this is the position vector from d to b and uh, we will find its magnitude so the magnitude will be we can say that the magnitude will be 1.2 square plus 0 0.35 square under the square root this gives us 1.25 so the magnitude is you guys can see this is equal to 1.25 and this will be in meters since the position vector always tells us the position of uh, one point relative to another so the position uh, vector from d to b this is the magnitude and that is 1.25 meters and now dividing both of these components by 1.25 will give us 0 0.96 i minus 0 0.28 j so this is the unit vector uh, along that line db so now we have determined this we have determined this we have determined this and now we will put all these three in a determinant form so this is 0 0.96 i minus 0 0.8 j and 0 k similarly this is the position vector of a relative to d which is the moment arm so that is 0 i minus 0 0.1 j plus 0 0.2 k and similarly the tension from a to e is 45 i minus 30 j and plus 10 k now finding this determinant using the first row we can say 0 0.96 into this minus this so 0 0.96 minus 0 0.1 into 10 minus 0 0.2 into minus 30 similarly with this term we always use a minus sign so this is plus minus plus so minus into minus 0 0.28 hiding this row this column 0 into 10 is 0 minus 0 0.2 into 45 so minus into minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 into 45 and this is 0 so 0 into 0 everything becomes 0 so this is 0 now once we simplify this this is 5 into 0 0.96 and this gives us uh, 2.52 so minus into minus is plus plus into minus is minus minus 2.52 this is 4.8 so 4.8 minus 2.52 gives us 2.28 newton meter so this is the magnitude of the moment about that line which joins point d and b and since we have used um, this position vector which which is the position vector of a relative to d so the moment is going to to be in this direction and uh since we got this 2.28 newton meter and we have used this position the unit vector from d to b so the the vectors the moment should be in in such a direction so that our thumb must point out in this direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction about this line which joins d and b so our thumb must be in this direction so this means that the moment about this line which joins that point d and b is in this direction and the magnitude is 2.28 newton meter and similarly the next problem uh, it tells us ask us to find the moment of uh, the tension which is acting from c to f so using the same method you guys can find the moment let me know in the comments how you using how you use this method to find that uh, moment of that tension which is acting from c to f and what is the magnitude of that moment so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope uh, this discussion will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston